for autonomy of counties is on course. We agreed. Kila arm of government should be allowed to have financial autonomy so that the executive does not control you. And I want to thank this assembly of Nyangaro and the speaker for your leadership because you are united. We had a very difficult assembly in the last administration where the assembly was fighting with the governor, they were fighting among themselves, affecting service delivery. When I speak on Asemba Hongera, under your leadership and the house leadership, Mumeweka Nyandaro Pamoja, you are oversighting the governor, but not obstructing from performance. And that is what an assembly should do. Oversight the governor for good governance, but allow him to work, facilitate him, pass his budget, allow him to function. But perhaps you need to oversight, please oversight him. And that is the way things should go. Even in the national government, we have told the National Assembly, the Senate, oversight us. There is no problem. Where we are wrong, correct us, but support us where we need to do the right thing. So I really want to say that uh, you people have done very well. And Mwendele, na nitakuwa nikialika nyinyi from time to time, na nyinyi pia muna nialika, tunakuja, tunakunywa chai pamoja, tunaongea mambo yetu. And I'm very clear in my mind that grassroots leaders are very important. I have tremendous respect for grassroots leaders, our MCAs, because they live with the people. Ukitaka kujua ground in Asema nini uliza hawa wabishimua. Those of us in Nairobi, we may not know what the ground is saying. These are the ground because they stay on the ground. Hakuna MCA anaishi kwa taa, anakatu wapo. Manyumba enu haina gate, wanainji wanaingia wakitoka. I know what it means in terms of straining you. Munaletewa mashida mingi. And that is why we are happy the courts have allowed the laws on health to go on so that this burden that you have been having of hospital bills, of raising funds every weekend, will be a thing of the past. Tutapunguza NHIF from 5 to 300, so that everybody has a cover. Mutu akigonjeka, anaenda hospitali, anatibiwa, anapewa dawa, anaenda nyumbani. So in another one year, hii maneno ya harambe za wicked sitaisha. And it will be a relief to all of you. I know muko na mambo ya matang, I know you have many issues. So we are still committed, the way the president agreed, to meet the 800 MCAs from our part of the political divide, we are going to create a day to mkuja to kuwe na mazugumu suna rais, to kubaliani, so that we can be able to, to make progress. Again, I think Bona Speaker and our what we are forum, ya are, we are MCAs, will organize, I meet the speakers from the region, so that we share with this bill and they tell us wamefikisha wapi, so that we can also urge them on to conclude haraka haraka, so that wale uh, watu wasitoroke nyandarwa waende nyeri. Because that is what will happen. With this bill, wale awezi wacha, wale ya kuuza vitu baya baya, watatoka nyandarwa waende nyeri, ama waende kirenyaga, ama waende kiambu, ama waende moranga, ama waende nakuru. So we want to tighten this thing around the whole space and the whole country. So that wawachana na hivi ya shara, warudu kwa shamba, tukalime pamoja na hawa. And that is what will happen. And I want to ask our traders to know that they are also parents. Much as they are trying to make money, they cannot make money by selling our young people poison. They cannot be rich by killing our people. Even God cannot bless their wealth. Let them look for honest means to earn their livelihood. There is still, there are many businesses you can do and make money without killing other people. Mimi sitaki kusema mingine siyasa naendelea mwacha na kazi ni You know, let me say, those who want to lead, if Jana wakikufa, what do nani? Come, kwanza utu wakoe generation. Then unaesa kujipanga na uko mbele, isn't it? If these young people are all dead, wamepotesa vitabulisho, wanalana kwa mutaro, we unataka kuongoza, utaongoza hawa, utaongoza nani? There will be nobody to lead. Let us first preserve this generation. And let us not be transfixed with the childish politics of succession, of elections. We have barely come from elections. One and a half years, people want service. Watu wanataka kuhudumiwa, watu wanataka kujua mambo ya barabara, mambo ya ukulima, mambo ya stima, mambo ya maziwa. Sasa mambo ya uchaguzi ni ya nituachana na yomaneno. I want to appeal to everybody, more so in our region, which people look a little bit confused. Let us focus on service delivery, and we want this region of ours, all of all this region, to be united under President William Ruto, the way to Likubaliana, to unge mkono, to wache mabu mingi, 
na tufanyiwa na nishi kazi.